270. You know, this is one of the best tackles in the class. And I was actually very surprised that, that he was coming to Ohio State. You know, when you look at Alabama and you look at Auburn, you know, he would fit in, you know, very perfectly, especially for the type of schemes that they run versus the scheme that Ohio State runs and offensively, how they're more of a pass happy um, kind of team. You know, his his high school team, they thrived running the ball, not necessarily passing the ball. So I thought maybe that would be a little bit of a better transition for him. Um, but overall, this is a great move for for Ohio State. You know, you see he's from Finley, Ohio. Uh, not not too far from Ohio State. You know, keep um staying in the state of Ohio. I think it's a big I think it's a big it's very important no matter what state that you keep the talent in your state. You know, we've seen, you know, the California teams, the USC's, the UCLA's, the Stanford's, the Cal, they let all the homegrown talent, you know, go all over the country and play. And, you know, you see Alabama, you see Auburn, you know, uh, wanting him to, to play th- play for their football program, you know, I think it was imperative, you know, for Ohio State to, you know, try to try to recruit him. And, you know, for him, he's staying in state. He's good to play for Buckeyes, which is huge. Obviously, you know, he's going to have a chance to start. Offensive line, you know, especially the tackle position, is always something Ohio State can improve and to get better at. And I think this is a tremendous move. you got to build from the line of scrimmage, build out, and this is what Ohio State is doing. And, you know, hopefully he can have an impact on the Buckeyes. I think he will. And it's, it's glad to see that Alabama did not take a recruit from the state of Ohio.